Hi, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do another book review for you today, and this is for Carla Kovacs' What She Did. Now, if you read any of Carla Kovacs' books, you'll notice, you'll know that she writes the, de the Detective Inspector or Detective, the Detective Gina Hart series. It's currently a nine book series. I didn't read books one and two, but I did read three through nine. And the most recent book came out in July, and that series is ongoing. However, this book here, what she did, and you'll see the image above, is a standalone psychological thriller. So she she veered off. I got a piece of hair. She veered off from her crime thriller series to write her first psychological thriller. So what is this book about? Well, it's about a woman named Marissa who led a quiet life since the murder of her mother when she was a young girl. And when she, when her uh, mother died, she was taken in by relatives and was, as a child, with the relatives that took her in, she was powerless. They were not loving family. That power that powerlessness continued as she became an adult. Now, when she gets notified that one of her previous guardians is uh, found dead, then there's the suspicion that she committed the murder. As a matter of fact, someone says that they found her, they saw her car near the home of that dead relative. The thing is, Marissa knows that she didn't kill this person. Wait a minute. She thinks she didn't kill this person. But the thing is, she's not sure. She can't prove it. Why? Well, her memory fails her and there's a very specific reason. Why does her memory fail her regarding this murder? I'm not going to tell you which person got killed. Now, to add, to rub more salt in the wound, Marissa has new neighbors having recently moved, and one of them is also found dead. Again, she thinks, I, 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 I didn't do it, did, did I? I, no, I, no, I couldn't have done it. But, this begs the question, why did these two murders occur? Who's the killer? What is the motive? Why is Marissa unclear and uncertain as to whether or not she killed these individuals? And can she prove to the police that she's not a killer? And can her memory be trusted now or ever? That's a conundrum, isn't it? Now, there are books where you have an unreliable narrator, and with an unreliable narrator, you're led to believe that you cannot trust the primary protagonist in the story. So the question is, is Marissa an unreliable narrator? Is she someone that we, the reader, can trust as far as her claims of innocence are concerned? So, along with the, the confusion about these murders, the book had more of an emotional edge concerning her experiences, her past, her trauma. And then there's the fact that she feels that she's being stalked. You, you know when you feel uncomfortable about certain situations. Well, Marissa has that feeling of, of uncomfortableness or feeling that she's being stalked. And if the book was already disconcerting concerning her memory, then there is a creepy edge to it considering that she might be being stopped. An exceptional book with a shocking ending. I love this book. I love the fact that this author went outside of her comfort zone to write a psychological thriller. So I want to share that with you and hopefully you'll read it. I will post the book in the description, the link to the book in the description below and I'll, I'll be back with more content soon. All right. Bye-bye.